Hey Scorpio, all right, we're gonna do a reading for you for the week of July 30th. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. It's a general reading, so it could apply to everyone, which hopefully it does, or it could apply to no one. All right, so if you are interested in purchasing a reading, the information is in the description box. And if you like your video, be sure to hit like, comment, and subscribe. All right, Spirit. What do you really got for my Scorpio babies for the week of July 30th? What does Scorpio need to know? All right, so far we have the Page of Cups. We have the Four of Cups, the Emperor, the Judgment card, the Two of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. Bottom deck energy we have is the Ace of Wands. All right, let's get into this. So the Page of Cups tells me that you could be making some plans on following your heart in a certain situation. Now this could be with a person, it could be a job, a home, whatever it is that you're trying to pursue. With the Four of Cups, there is a sense of you looking at something where you're like, I'm really trying to build this up here. I'm building this, I'm building this, I'm building this, I'm building this. Some of you may not be good at multitasking because you're being so focused on one area or a few areas that you're not looking at something that's coming into you. So let's say you're working on mental stability or you're working on emotional stability or you're working on financial stability. Um, let's say you're working on those three things but you don't see something else coming in that you may need to pay attention to. Um, we do have the Emperor here. The Emperor is a person who, and this could be you, um, a person who is standing within their power. It's like, you really can't tell them anything. They have to figure things out on their own. So, this could implicate that you are turning away advice. It's almost like, I'm going to do it my way, and nobody's going to tell me how to do something. Um, but we also have the judgment card here. There is something within yourself that you're trying to revive. It could be your motivation. It could be your um, your stamina when it comes to energy. Um, but there's something here that you're trying to revive and you're trying to bring it back to life. This could also be within a relationship. I'm not really seeing a relationship so much, but... I, I do see that you're trying to build certain things for yourself. Um, there could be people trying to give you advice or there could be uh, people trying to offer you love. You're just kind of like, mm, not so much. That's not where I'm at right now. I feel like that what you're trying to bring back to life is yourself with the judgment card. It's like I'm, I'm trying to make a choice of doing something... Uh, that's very stable. We have the Two of Pentacles. Trying to balance out certain things. You could be focused on collaborating with the person. Um, building something up financially. Something that is ironclad. Something that's going to be very prosperous and very abundant. But your main concern is it being solid. I think with the Knight of Pentacles, you're, you're trying to take things really, really slow. You want to build them one step at a time 
because you want to be sure about what you're doing. I feel like that there could be certain things where you're like, I move too fast in the past. Or I've done certain things that I didn't think all the way through. And I think that you are in that mode of wanting to take one step at a time and handle it in that form and in that fashion. With the Ace of Wands being present, it tells me that you definitely do want to make a move. But we have the Knight of Pentacles here, so it does tell me that you are trying to do a slow build instead of a quick takeoff. So I'm thinking that the Ace of Wands is more of a, I know that this is the direction that I want to move into. I know that this is how I want to do things. It's just the point of doing them and also doing them at your pace. We do have the Eight of Swords as well as the Three of Wands. So you are really trying to be patient um, and see what the universe is bringing to you. We do have the Knight of Cups being here of you getting like a spark or an interest, um, some kind of idea of wanting to move in the space of your heart. It's like, I want to I wanna follow this direction. I'm following my heart when it comes to this. But with the Eight of Swords, it tells me that you really don't see that coming. You could be in your mental right now. You could be looking at it like, um, you could be a bit detached to where you're thinking about certain things. You have the blindfold on, so you don't see anything coming when it comes to other people offering you something from their heart or an opportunity that could be there from an emotional level. But with the Knight of Swords, there is an opportunity that is coming for you that you're gonna want to take advantage of. You're gonna wanna swoop in. It's like, I'm, I'm gonna swoop in. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna act fast on it. I feel like that once something comes in or once you know that you're quote unquote in there, after that, it's a wrap. It's like, I'm. this is what I'm doing. With the Ten of Wands being here, it tells me that this is the end of the cycle for you struggling and doing things by yourself or on your own. There is a sense of you depending on somebody else or not not necessarily depending on somebody else, but more like a working with somebody. It's like you're finally opening up to teamwork. There's a sense of teamwork or some kind of collaboration that you need to open up to to realize that you don't have to do something by yourself. I think you already realize that you don't have to do anything by yourself. I think it's just you trying to find the right person to open up to in order for you to um, accept anybody else's help in, per se. Um, with the Eight of Pentacles, it does tell me that you're ready to get to work. You are focused on it. <laughs> you are ready to get to work. And this is something that you are wanting to do. It's something that's also going to be fun. Um... It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. We have the Ten of Pentacles here. There's a lot of planning and building, you know, talking from the heart. I almost feel like that there, um, something happens to where it just opens your heart. And you're like, this is it. Like, this is the one. This is it. This is what I have been wanting to feel. This is what I have been wanting to do. This is what I want to work towards. It's like, all of a sudden, it all... All the answers come to you and you're like this is it like this is what I want to build on we do have the five of Pentacles and we also have the seven of swords okay and we also have the nine of swords I do feel like that even though all these good things are happening to you you're afraid of being ghosted you're afraid of being left alone you're afraid that you're gonna put your energy into this and you feel like that you're gonna be deceived I feel like uh, and also with the nine of swords being here you're kind of stressed out about this a little bit where you're like okay this feels great but what if it turns into this what if it turns into that you can't be questioning the what ifs and you can't be basing anything in the present on something that happened in the past especially if it's with a different person okay so those experiences in the past happened so that way you can learn from them but not carry them with you to torture the next person who didn't do shit so there is a sense of you taking 
burdens from the past and bringing them forward. We also have the Six of Pentacles, which is something from the past. But don't let this stop you from your will of fortune. You're manifesting certain things to you, and you can stop your own manifestations with all of this worrying. With all this worrying, you're afraid of deception. You're afraid that you're going to get taken in. You're afraid of opening your heart. It's like, you want reciprocation. You're going to have reciprocation. This is all about you paying attention to your own gut instincts. I feel like, okay, I'm just going to say that sometimes we go through things and we place things that another person did to us. We place them on the current people that did not do anything in the same fashion, like nothing at all. So it's not even the point of you not seeing it I think that you see it I think that you've learned enough from it but now you have to trust the lessons that you've learned that you're not around the same kind of energies you're not around the same kind of situations and you're not around the same kind of people that would do things like that to you so you've grown out of that part You've grown out of that part. But now you need to trust and not self-sabotage. Because you have something that's really good here. You have somebody around you that would like to plan, would give you the love that you want. You can relax in it. You can surrender. It's, it's They don't mind giving you clarity. Don't be fearful about past shit. I think that you are afraid that they're going to do certain things to you because usually two things going on here. Usually when we have things like that happen, we get scared that people are going to do something to us from our past that did it before or whatever, right? But then there's also self-reflection. Which means maybe you're afraid that somebody is going to do to you what you have done to them. So if this is a person that you've done some shady shit to, you're afraid that they're going to do it back to you. You're afraid that they're going to do the same thing that you did to them because that was your behavior. But they're not you. And they're also not the person from the past. So... We're going to find out what, um, advice for it has for you for this week. What advice do you have for my Scorpio baby spirit? Have manifesting manifesting is the creative process of aligning with the energy of the universe to co-create an experience that elevates my spirit and the spirit of the world we also have my greatest spiritual shifts don't come through force they come through freedom and that means cutting yourself away from toxic ties that means cutting yourself away from toxic thoughts, self-sabotage, addicting behaviors, just all that. That's freedom. So we also have, when I'm connected to spirit, I feel a sense of cer certainty, magnitude, and ease that I've never known before. So... That is what I have for you for this week, Scorpio. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great week, and I will talk to you soon.